The following text is brought here in order to complicate the discussion about reparations and material continuities in the context of national socialism, colonialism, and racism. Waldorf Astoria Hotel, New York, March 14, 1960. An excerpt from a conversation between Israeli Prime Minister David Ben-Gurion, read by Shannon Gould, and Chancellor Konrad Adenauer, read by Maxwell Stevens. Adenauer, I want to say right in the beginning that I always followed and with great personal interest the reconstruction of Israel I want to express my deep admiration for the courage, the power, and the presence of Israel. Ben Gurion, I sincerely appreciate your interest, but I want to say how much I value what you did to establish a democratic regime in Germany, also what you did towards the Jews. This fact, why and how it was done, we appreciate even more than what was done. I consider the moral aspect more important than the material one. The real historical damage that was done by the slaughter of six million innocent people was something that never happened in history. The Jewish people received a deadly blow from the Nazi regime. Those of our people who had vision, knowledge, ability, idealism, readiness for self-sacrifice and material means, that was European Jewry. They were destroyed. I say this because you can divide Jewry into three parts, the European Jewry, the American Jews, and the Jews from Muslim countries. The American Jews consider themselves Americans. The Jews in Muslim countries lived in countries that were illiterate, backwards, and they assimilated themselves with the people amongst whom they lived with. European Jewry was the base of the Zionist movement. They were the first pioneers in Palestine. They established Jewish agriculture in Palestine. Their ideals were to establish not only a Jewish home, but also a better society for all humanity. Adenauer, from the beginning, I took great part in the Zionist movement. The fate of the Jews is somewhat similar to us. We also suffered the loss of a whole layer in German society. Ben Gurion, I don't think you can compare the two things. We lost entire groups, millions of people, not just personalities. 12 years ago, the Jewish state was established First, we took in 300,000 European Jews from the displaced persons camps. After that, most of the immigration came from Asian and African countries. While they also had the messianic vision of return to Zion, they personally did not have the idealism, the skill, and the vision necessary to build Israel. Among Arabs, manual labor is held in contempt. For us in Israel, labor is the highest of our ideals. Many of us left homes, education, degrees, and wealth, in the ardor to go and pioneer. We are now cut off from the source of human material. We will need two or three generations to really integrate Jews from Asia and Africa to get them to pioneer as European Jews did. This is the most difficult with Iraqis and Moroccans. Work in factories is easier for them. Also, it is not one of the richest countries from a material point of view. We have no intention for territorial expansion, but we want the country to grow economically by the maximum utilization of all its possibilities. I am not an economist, and I am not speaking of economic facts, but of the human factor, that the leader of a great people had the moral courage to accept moral responsibility for what had happened in his country. That is also the real significance of the reparations agreement. What I'm going to propose, you may reject. I cannot demand from you. There's no formal or informal obligation involved. But what I propose is what I think you ought to do. We have a most difficult problem in building our country. We have been surrounded by the Arabs since the establishment of the state. I have not been against your helping the Arabs. I have no quarrel with the Arabs. It is completely one-sided they are against us. We are not against them. For the lives of 6 million people, there is no such thing as reparations. We want you to participate in developing our country. We have to build up industry to develop shipping and agricultural enterprises to create work for 1 million persons. You can invest in these enterprises or lend us for a long term each year $50 million for a period of 10 years. 
You cannot undo what Hitler did, but you can help by giving us the means to rebuild Israel. Either you participate or you lend us every year for 10 years, 40 to $50 million. At an hour. What do you think? How many microphones are in this room? Three or four? Ben Gurion. I don't know how many, but I'm sure there are some. At an hour. We will help you out of moral reasons and out of practical politics. Israel is the fortress of the West. Israel has to develop in the interest of the whole world. Ben Gurion. There are two things we need from you and where you can help us. The first are submarines. We need submarines which are suitable for operations in the Mediterranean and Red Seas. The second thing we need are missiles. We know that you are in close cooperation with the French in this field. My people saw Franz Josef Strauss. He was very helpful, but you have to decide. You are more than even the head of government. You said before that you agreed. I don't know. Yes, I agree.